From Charlotte, North Carolina, Mike Loria. And from Parts Unknown, The Nightmare. Tag Team Excitement coming your way. On Sports Channel America, I'm Craig DeGeorge with Bruno San Martino. Wrestling as a tag team with a combined weight of 502 pounds. He hails from New York City. He is the keeper, Paul Sampson. And from the Bronx Zoo, this is Jim the Animal. And you see the keeper and the animal. The animal has his his friend with him. He says he we call him the friend. His friend, huh? Yeah, that little I don't know what it is. Some kind of furry animal teddy. you see to the left of your screen. It's not a teddy bear, is it? It's uh well, it's, Yeah, it might be a teddy bear. Paul Sampson, the keeper in the ring, along with the animal to the left of your screen. Mike Laria, the nightmare. The animals start to check out the referee for any foreign objects. So that's a twist. Well, Paul Sampson and uh, Nightmare will start the match. This is the keeper. And the Nightmare. Good left hand for the keeper. Nightmare got twisted up there in the turnbuckle. Looked, looked like a whirlwind, didn't he? The way he was spinning around before he finally hit those uh, buckles. But what do you expect? Hey, that was Samson who twirled him. Yep. And the body slam. slam. Good slam by Samson. I'll tell you, so far, we've seen the nightmare, what, last week? Well, but you know what? Wait till Mike... Oh, there's a good clothesline by the nightmare. Wait till big Mike Laria comes in, and here he comes now. Here he is, big, Whoa, mean Mike he Big. He's not really that big. Well... Mike, mean Mike, they call him. Mean Mike, huh? Good shot. This guy, uh, not mean only... And mean Not only a wrestler. Oh. He, he hosts he hosts a uh, a wrestling talk show on the Y100 radio station in the Fort Lauderdale Miami market. He hosts on a, a wrestling on show on a morning zoo program. I didn't know that. He also has a cable program. So, well, which is his main uh, job? A uh, professional uh, think, wrestler or radio what he's personality? Known as mean Mike, he's a wrestler. Mean Mike. And he just uh, moonlights as a morning guy. Mean Mike, huh? Lean and mean. Simply the best, it says behind his tights. Simply the best. Meanwhile, uh -oh. animal is throwing out candy, it looks like. This is feeding time at the zoo now. And on a rare twist, it is the animal feeding the crowd. See, normally it's the other way around, right? You've you throw the food to the animals. You're, you're confusing me, Craig. Let, have, let's have you been to the zoo recently? You, you throw the fish to the seal? Or? As a matter of fact, we in Pittsburgh, there's a great zoo. That's and right. I did. I hadn't gone to the zoo many, many years. Now, I will tell you that it was very fascinating. But all the animals that I've seen, I did not see quite any like the animal that I'm seeing right now in the ring. Can I ask you, point blank, what was your favorite animal? Or My who? favorite animal, truthfully, I forget the name, it was a gorilla that weighed about 400 <laughs> some pounds. That was, I'll tell you what, that was impressive. What a, yeah. a powerful looking animal that is. I'd hate to have gone in that I know why you like that, Best. It was probably your opponent years ago, right? Well, I, no, I don't <laughs> think my opponent was quite as big. Whoa, nice drop to hold by the Good animal. Good drop to hold. Well, you wrestled a bear, you wrestled a uh, ape or a orangutan or something. Orangutan. Orangutan, orangutan and a orangutan. big 700-pound bear called Terrible Ted, and I don't mind telling you that I got the worst of it. <laughs> you know, people listening at home who are not familiar, some of our young fans out there may not realize we are serious, folks. He, Bruno San Martino did actually get into the ring with an orangutan 
and a 700-pound bear. And you can read all about that, I guess. Not to promo your book here, but that's all in the uh, autobiography, Bruno. But also let me add that this was a very young Bruno San Martino and a very, not very smart one for those yes. two moves. Things Love. have changed, though. Thank you. Oh. Wow. The animal with a gut bust through the straight press, and then he dropped him on his knee. Boy, did he drop him on his knee, all right. Uh, nightmare uh, really took a, took a bad, bad blow there because the way he kind of tried to lift him overhead and dump him on his knee, I'll tell you. He looked like he came sideways a little bit, which I would have thought maybe his ribs. And, and I'm very surprised that he didn't do some damage to his ribs. A double clothesline. Keeper gets in there. Mean Mike yelling something about he's a star. He said he's a star. He's challenging everybody, any wrestler, anybody in the audience. He don't care who. He said, I'm the meanest, the toughest. Is this guy serious? I don't think he weighs 210 pounds, does he? You think he weighs over mean 210? Mike, uh, mean Mike. I see he's around 200 tops. 200 pounds? Somebody in the audience is saying, come on down here, I'll take you on, but... Uh, Animal's gonna tag in, but what, what's he doing? He's going in on the rope? I'm gonna take him face down, uh-oh! Oh, he took him face down and the nightmare flipped over! Oh boy, that's a good way to break your neck. You better believe it. See, it's just gonna be a body slam or a pile driver? Probably power slam, no, maybe pile driver. Oh, belly to belly, reverse pile driver by the animal. Comes over now for a word from the keeper. Now he's going to tag in. Keeper in, animal out. Two. Oh, look at that arrogant. Don. Look at Sam with his foot on the man's chest. That is so arrogant. Thank you.